Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and rep repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 21, part 12 to 17, Jesus goes to the temple. Jesus went into the temple area. He threw out all those who were selling and buying things there. He turned over the tables that belonged to those who were exchanging different kinds of money. And he turned over the benches of those who were selling doves. Jesus said to them, the scriptures say, my temple will be called a house of prayer, but you are changing it into a hiding place of thieves. Some blind people and some who were crippled, crippled came to Jesus in the temple area. Jesus healed them. The leading priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he was doing, and they saw the children praising him in the temple area. The children were shouting praise to the son of David. All this made the priests and the teachers of the law angry. They asked Jesus, Do you hear what these children are saying? He answered, Yes, the scripture says, You have taught children and babies to give praise. Have you not read the scripture? Then Jesus left them and went out of the city of Bethany where he spent the night. This is the word of Jesus. Thank be to God. Hallelujah. 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 
Halleluja. Epistel Roman 12 part 1 to 21 Give your lives to God. So I beg you brothers and sisters because of the great mercy God has shown us offer your lives as a living sacrifice to him an offering that is only for God and pleasing to him considering what he has done it is only right that you should worship him in his way don't change our yourselves to be like the people of this world but let the let God change you inside with a new way of thinking then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to him and what is perfect God has given me a special gift and that is why I am some something to say to each of uh, to each one of you don't think that you are better than you really are you must see yourself just as you are decide what you are by the faith God has given each of us each one of us has one body and the body has many parts these parts don't don't all do the same thing in the same way we are many people but in Christ we are all one body we are the parts of that body and each part belongs to all the others we all have different gifts each gift came because of the grace God gave us whoever has the gift of prophecy should use that gift in a way that fits the kind of faith they have whoever has the gift of serving should serve whoever has the gift of teaching should teach whoever has the gift of comforting others should do that whoever has the gift of giving to help others should give gener uh, generously whoever has the gift of leading should work hard at it whoever has the gift of the showing kindness to others should do it gladly your love must be real hate hate what is evil do only what is good love each other in the way that makes you feel close like brothers and sisters and give each other more honor than you give yourself as you serve the Lord work hard and don't be lazy be excited about serving him be happy because of the hope you have be patient when you have troubles pray all the time share with God's people who need help look for people who need help and welcome them into into your homes wish only go good for those who treat you badly ask God to bless them not curse them when others are happy you should be happy with them and when others are sad you should be sad too live together in peace with each other don't be proud but be willing to be friends with people who are not important to others don't think of yourself as smarter than everyone else if someone does you if someone does you wrong don't try to pay them back by hurting them try to do what everyone thinks in right do the best you can to live in peace with everyone my friends don't try to punish anyone who does wrong to you wait for God to punish them with his anger 
In the scriptures, the Lord says, I am the one who punishes. I will pay people back. But you should do this. If you have enemies who are hungry, give them something to eat. If you have enemies who are thirsty, give them something to drink. In doing this, you will make them feeling feel ashamed. Don't let evil defeat you, but defeat evil by doing good. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel John 18 part 1 to 11 Jesus is arrested when Jesus finished praying he left with his followers and went across the Kidron Valley he went into a garden there his followers still with him Judas the one represented uh, responsible for handling Jesus over knew where this place was. He knew because Jesus often met there, there with his followers. So Jesus led a, a group of soldiers to the so Judas led a group of soldiers to the garden along with some guards from the leading priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying uh, torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus already knew everything that would happen to him. So he went out and asked them, Who are you looking for? They answered, Jesus from Nazareth. He said, I am Jesus. Jews, Judas, the one re responsible for handling Jesus over, was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am Jesus, the men moved back and fell to the ground. He asked them again, who are you looking for? They said, Jesus from Nazareth. Jesus said, I told you that I am Jesus. So if you are looking for me, let these other men go free. This was to show the truth of uh, what Jesus said earlier. I have not lost anyone you gave me. Simon Peter had a sword, which he pulled out. He stuck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Mal Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, put the sword back. In, the, in its place. I must drink of the cup of the Father has given me. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, please remember me. Lord, when you are angry, please do not punish me. You have shot your arrows deep into me. You have knocked me down with your hand. Your punishment has made my whole body ill. My health has gone because of my sin. My sin is too much for me. It, it is like a heavy weight that I cannot... Uh, carry my wounds make make a bad smell and they get worse this is because I have done stupid things my body is bent down to the ground every day I weep because I am so sad I burn with pain and my whole body is ill I am very tired and weak I am so upset and afraid that I cry aloud Lord you already know what I want most. Must you hear me when I cry with pain?
My heart beats very fast and my strength is leaving me. Even my eyes can no longer see properly. My family and my friends stay away from me because I am so ill. They do not come near to me. My enemies prepare traps because they want to kill me. They talk about ways to destroy me. They want to hurt me. So they talk about that all thoughts uh, through the day. I, but I am like a deaf man who hears nothing. I am like a dumb man who says nothing. So I live like a man who cannot hear what they say. I refuse to argue against them. But Lord, I wait for you to help me. I believe that you will answer me, Lord my God. I pray that my enemies will not laugh at me. I sleep and fall down. They will be very happy for I will soon fall and I have nothing but pain all the time. But I agree that I have done wrong things. My sin is a trouble for me. I have many enemies and they are strong. They have no reason to hate me. When I do good things, they pay me back with evil things. I try to do what is right, and they turn against me. Lord, please do not leave me alone. Do not stay far away from me, my God. My Lord, you are the one who can save me. So come quickly to help me. Hallelujah. Amen. Preaching. Not all of us can do the great things, but we can do small things with great love. I am not sure what heaven will be like, but I know that when you die and it comes time for God to judge us, He will not ask how many good things you have done in your life. Rather, He will ask how much love did you put into what you did. If you judge people, you have no time to love them. Peace begins with a smile. Every time you smile at someone, it is an action of love, a gift to, to that person, a beautiful thing. I do not think that love, in order to be genuine, has to be extraordinary. What we need is to love without getting tired. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that you, your strength lies. Let no one ever come to you without living better and happier. Be the living expression of God's kindness. Kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, kindness in your smile. Kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. The most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved. If you have no peace, it is because you have forgotten that you belong to each other. What can you do to promote world peace? Go home and love your family. And the end of life, we will not be judged how many diplomas we have received, how much money we have made, how many great things we have done. We will be judged by, I was hungry and you gave them food. I was naked and you clothed me. I was homeless and you took me in. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. The hunger of love is much more difficult to remove than the hunger of bread. God doesn't require us to succeed. He only requires that you try and He gives your success. Prayers is not asking. Prayer is putting oneself in the hand of God at His disposition and listening to His voice in the depth of our hearts. I am a little pencil in the hand of writing God who is sending the love letter to the world. Never travel faster than your guardian angel can fly. 
prayer is not asking prayer is putting oneself in the hand of god at his disposition and listening to his voice in the depth of our hearts i can do things you cannot and you can do things i cannot together we can do great things do not wait for leaders do it alone person to person a life not live for others in is not a life if you cannot feed 100 feed just one let us meet each other with a smile for the smile is the beginning of love never worry about numbers help one person at a time and always start with the person nearest to you amen the creed we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made of one being with the father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the holy spirit and the virgin mary and was made a man for our sake he was crucified under pontius plate this uh, he, he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end we believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets we believe in one holy apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen a creed we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made of one being with the father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the holy spirit and the virgin mary and was made man for our sake he was crucified on the pontius plate he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the high right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end we believe in the holy spirit the lord the giver of life who proceeds from the father and the son who with the father and the son is worshipped and glorified who has spoken through the prophets we believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen prayers of intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts 
and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The Peace we are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us son of god you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean. Our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. 
but you lord are the god of our salvation and share your bread with sinners so cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of christ may sit and eat in your kingdom amen god's holy gifts for god's holy people jesus christ is holy jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father amen you can eat the bread and drink the wine or water if it is water you are drinking you can uh, ask jesus to turn as wine in your body the peace of god which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.